a couple of more things I want to tell y'all. This is not going to be a long video, but uh, I did leave out some things the other day that I wanted to share when I was doing the last tips for traveling to the Philippines. This one here is uh, just a couple of things that I thought about and remembered that I didn't share in the last video. So I want to kind of put it in this video here. And uh, like I said, it's not going to be a long video. I did just book my next trip for the Philippines. So everything's set and ready there. Matter of fact, you can, you probably seen it when you uh, first started this video. It is ready to go and I am excited. Cannot wait to get back there. I will be videoing a lot in Hawaii when I get there from the 1st to the 8th and then uh, I'm gonna try to do a video a day. Like I say, I hope I don't let y'all down on myself. But uh, one of the tips is uh, do not drink the water, the tap water. I think it's a natural spring bottled water that I drank pretty much everywhere I went over there and bottled water. You can buy the big jugs of it if you're staying at a hotel and you can keep it in your refrigerator that's kind of what we did when we stayed in Cebu and we cooked with it uh, we drank with it brush your teeth with it do not swallow the water the tap water that is because if you do you will be on the toilet for more than more than you want to <laughs> but uh don't drink the tap water that's 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 one of the tips there that I do want to share with you the the natural spring water is sold everywhere sorry sorry stores and do beware because i i didn't run across this here but i did hear a lot of stories about some of the sorry sorry stores out in the country area the province area has these recapping bottle recapping machines where they'll fill it up with tap water and recap it another one if you're going over there on vacation or if you're going to meet someone that you've met online um be careful there make sure that that person is legit if you uh, are talking to them online just by chat and uh they do not want to facetime you do not travel over there to meet them um if you're looking to meet someone uh christian filipino is one of the best places i could tell you to go to as of right now uh i've never used it but i've heard a lot of great stories out of christian filipino and they also do uh they have the christian visa where they'll help you get your filipina her visa to travel with or him whichever uh be careful of uh a lot of what they call lady boys that is a male looks a lot like a woman up top but the bottom part is boy that's where they get the lady and the boy so be cautious of that but like i said if you are talking to someone online and they will not video chat you they come up with an excuse of the camera's broke the phone's messed up always got an excuse they will not chat with you live uh do not travel that far to meet them now you can go over there and meet a lot of beautiful women a lot of people over there a lot of handsome dudes or whatever you know if you're a female um but just be cautious of uh, some of the online chatting and they won't talk with you face to face. I met my girlfriend on TikTok. Uh, I'm going to do a whole story on that one too. When we get over there, we're going to kind of tell you how we met there. But just a little insight on that. We were, I was on TikTok one night and I was just scrolling through and I ran across this, uh, this site that was on. And they were, the, the guy was kind of hooking filipinos up with uh foreigners and i was just sitting there watching it and reading it you know just kind of laughing at it and listening to them talk and things like that it was kind of entertaining and i just noticed on the left side over there i seen uh i seen her profile and i clicked on it and i messaged her i messaged her and she messaged me back and it went from there but like i said we'll give you the whole story on all of that later you do fly into the philippines and when you do fly you remember i told y'all to try to go to cebu uh manila you fly into manila and you're going into manila it's don't get me wrong that's a great city the bgc i think it is is an amazing place it's very very modern everything there that you want everything's right there in one spot but um the airport at Manila, the lines are extremely long. You will spend a lot of time in lines at the Manila airport. So if you can fly into Cebu, 
it's not as big of an airport it's really nice a lot of places to eat shop uh, manila don't really have that many great places to eat and you know just just try to fly into uh, cebu if you can i am making a three hour layover stop in manila but i'm just going to get off the plane find my next terminal and i'm going to wait till my flight leaves out to go to cebu do fly into manila and that's that's where you want to go just be prepared for a lot of long lines at the airport me and lynn Junalyn, we're talking i call her lynn too my family calls her lynn we're talking about just waiting till i get there to find our places to stay we're going to uh start out in cebu and then leave there and probably go to Bahol, and then leave there and go to shargal or we may do that vice versa but we decided to just kind of wing it as we go because there's a lot of great places to stay there in all the islands a lot of great uh airbnbs a lot of great hotels uh, a lot of great rentals there so we're just going to wing it we were talking about doing that instead of trying to book everything online and this is going to be a first time thing so i'll definitely probably have another tip for y'all when i come back from this trip because to let you know the good and the bad to doing that there could be good things to do and there could be bad things to do it but i tell you what i'll try it out for y'all and let you know how it goes if you are going to stay for a long extended period of time do get you some travel insurance i'm looking in between three or four right now um, I'll try to link those below too also uh, the ones that I'm looking into but definitely get you some travel insurance some health insurance if you don't have that here in the states or whatever country you're from you may need that you never know what happened but uh, just to be on the safe side do get your travel insurance it's not that expensive and it is a lifesaver I've heard from uh, some people that I have talked to that have traveled over there when things happen that go wrong when they shouldn't in this video here y'all excuse the mess in the back of my Car. I got a little camper bed back there. I got a little drawer system right here. I got clothes in one. Oops. Uh, camping stuff in the other. Fishing equipment, fishing reel, toolbox, skateboard. Uh, <laughs> I'd build it out just to camp in when I go places like that. I'll even do a video on this soon. I'm going to go camping one night and I'm going to take y'all with me. If y'all want to see that, leave me a comment below. I'll do a little cook camping cook and things like that but i want to show y'all something that i did the other day uh don't judge me on this because this i did this without any kind of <laughs> thought i'll put it that way i just throwed it together but i made me a little bamboo shed for my grill and things like that but i also put me in an outdoor shower out here yesterday check this out Now, that is not completed yet. I have still got to put the walls up around the uh, outside of it there. I got the little board down there so I don't have to stand on the dirt while I'm taking a shower. <laughs> but uh, I am going to uh, put some walls so people can't see if you are taking a shower. I mean, I took one out here today, but I have my bathing suit bottom on. But you definitely can't stand out here butt naked and take a shower. So I am going to put up walls so, like I say, it'll be hit. And this was not going to be a long video just a short video but i just thought of a few things extra things that i wanted to tell you all so i hope it helps and i hope that you're getting uh the tips that i've given you i hope you're getting a lot of help from them if you have any questions leave a comment below and i'll be glad to answer it i do read all comments and i do appreciate y'all comments i appreciate y'all subscribing and uh like i say i'm heading back to the philippines soon so stay tuned for that please please stay tuned and uh please share these videos help me grow this channel i do appreciate it i appreciate y'all support i love y'all see y'all soon